r slash dead bedrooms. Quick study says. First sex in 7 years, a. Disaster. I have a great wife. I still love her, she's a great cook and takes good care of everyone in her life, including me in many ways. She's an awesome mom to our to college age kids. But we haven't had any intimacy in over 7 years and still haven't, though we did have sex for the first time the other night. I deeply wish we hadn't. We are both 52, and have been together since 23. The early years were supercharged sexually, then sex went away after kids 4 years. They were physically attached to her at all times. I don't know how we managed to make the second one. But there wasn't any lack of kissing or other intimacies. Once our kids got more independent, we enjoyed a resurgence of mutual enthusiasm and exploration. But that went away as some though challenges came out way, mainly each of us having to take care of our parents as their lives were ending. You take the good with the bad, I guess. Our sex life tapered off a decade ago, and we have not had sex at all but also no kissing, she turns her head when I try, or cuddling. She spends half her time visiting her dad in his memory care facility in a town 200 miles away. She loads up her schedule with the many trips to friends, etc as she can, and works a time consuming job. I feel for her, and don't expect her to feel intimate all the time with so much going on in her life, but there's just nothing, and she rejects every overture. I had stopped trying, and slept in the guest room 4 years now, because it's just too painful to get rejected every time. A few weeks ago, I told her that this is a problem for me. That I agreed to monogamy, not celibacy. There's more, like her promising to discuss her low libido with her doctor, but never doing so, or telling me how I never fully supported her emotionally in the past. I expect that has some truth to it, but it also feels at least partially revisionist. She tells me she's not cheating, I never suspected or accused her, just feels that the time of her life, that sex was a part of is now over. It can be painful for her. All of this makes sense, but doesn't explain the total lack of other forms of intimacy. I suggested that we start sleeping in the same bed again, and cuddle and kiss without the expectation of sex. Well it's been a few weeks with no kissing or cuddling. Excruciating. Then the other night while spooning her, I got a pretty impressive erection, and after a while she takes off her panties. I try to kiss her, no go. I offer to go down on her. No way. She puts me inside her, and I get to it, but I can tell she's not interested. Very not interested. I give it a lot of saliva and the best moves I can recall from almost a decade ago, hoping that the right stimulation could win her over. Otherwise, why didn't she just brush me off again? But it becomes apparent that she is not enjoying it, so I finish and try some pillow talk, but again, no interest. The next day she doesn't want to talk about it. I give her a day and ask again, did she enjoy any of it? She says she didn't, and that it felt like I'd gone back on my promises to be patient and not force her. I didn't. I asked her why, do it off she didn't want to. She's had no trouble saying no. She says she made a choice, just to get me off her. Now I'm the bad guy and she won't talk. About it. Like I said, I wish we just hadn't done it. Actually having sex this time has made me more worried than ever that we will just never have a intimate relationship again. I stopped drinking entirely 3 years ago, just for my health, and have been seeing a psychiatrist for 2 years. There's been no abuse or fights. We get along pretty well on most fronts, but I feel like it's all a huge charade. I think we still love each other, and I suppose, if I just cut my nuts off we could maybe live happily ever after, but I'm not willing to do that. I've never cheated, but recently I told a woman I met on business travel, no shitting where I eat, don't worry, that I wanted to kiss her, and we made out for half an hour. She was so energetic and passionate, it reminded me of what it's like to be desired. We didn't take it any further, the trip ended, and we still text a bit. 
it's pretty clear that there's FB interest there if we are ever in the same city. I don't want an affair, I want the love and affection of my wife, but seeking intimacy is just, frick, I up the friendship, co-parenting part. I've offered couples therapy, but after expressing early interest, she rejected the idea. She still asks me to be patient with her, and I owe her a lot, but I feel like I'm just throwing my time away hoping for there to ever be a sexual relationship again, if she's not willing to do any of the things that might help. I feel like just getting my desires met outside the marriage in a safe and respectful way, no neighbors, complications, long-term relationships, etc. Would help us preserve the rest of our marriage, but I fear my kids ever finding out. Finding this group to lurk in has been extremely helpful live the past months. I really sympathize and identify with so many posters here. I'm at a loss for my next steps. I'm deeply hurt, which she won't acknowledge, but I don't want to lash out and make things worse. I think she would consider any outside sexual relationship as a deep betrayal, even though it's been so long. I read people's once a month sex stories and think, if only. I don't know that I'm looking for solutions, since the crux of the matter is, this is just an unsolvable situation, that's what makes so hard. But I'll gladly read any comments. Thanks for listening. Maximum External 5606 says. There are no perfect solutions only trade-offs. Uncommon Leonard says. What you are willing to sacrifice is your next step. What you cannot ever overcome are the options you rule out. Draw that list and act on it. The status QUO will devour your life and soul. snooky 2 you says. You have on some impressive rose-colored glasses. You are never going to get affection and intimacy from her again. Sorry but she's done with that and she told you that you just haven't listened. Now you're trying and she will allow this so she can then come back and say I tried and it didn't work. For someone who loves someone to not want to be kissed, hugged, cuddled is saying a lot. This woman is comfortable in her life. She does what she wants and she may love you but I have huge doubts if she is in love with you. You are selling yourself short and both are going to end up very resentful and miserable. Your best option is to go back to your room and forget the trying part because it's clear she wants nothing of it. User Disposed says. I 45 male, am in the same situation. My SDBXW and I love each other and there is support and kindness. However, we went 7 years without 6, cuddling or kissing, before we finally had the talk. She said she is not attracted to me anymore, and doesn't think she ever could be again. That nearly killed me, so I went to therapy, and started a journey of self-improvement, that has changed my life. I feel confident and happy without external validation. We continued to live together for another year, and at the end of that year I asked her again. Although she saw the changes I have made, it is too late. She still doesn't want that from me, so I told her I need her to move out. She enthusiastically agreed. Here we are 6 months later and like you, I have recently been getting attention from women. It really caught me off guard at first. When you get rejected for that long by your partner, it really destroys your sense of self worth. I don't know what the future holds, but I refuse to live the rest of my life without affection. I miss the person my partner was, but I don't miss the person she is. R slash dead bedrooms. Marshall Tech says. I haven't had sex with my wife in 7 years. Seriously. She doesn't want to be touched no kissing, no caressing, I need a woman's touch, and I'm on the verge of finding someone else to give me what I need. I'm going crazy, my wife has some medical issues that do come into play, but she's lost all interest in intimacy. All she does is lay in bed and watch Real Housewives on her tablet. Everything I try to get cozy with her, she recoils. When we met, our sex life was amazing, but no sexy time since 2017. Limbancer8455 says. 
Sorry for that op. I know in 2024 short text is preferred and loved, but you have to add a lot more information to get any sensibly replies slash help slash support here. Additional share 7293 says. I'm not far behind, a little more than 6 years, so I understand, and my sympathies are with you. Discussion has been unsuccessful, she is postmenopausal and there is nothing more to be said. Fantasies have to suffice. Marshall Tech says. No, she never leaves home, and I'm always home too. Kakim Chorsballs says. Well, what steps have you taken? Does she know how you feel? Does she care? If so, what is she doing to address it? If she doesn't care, you really have two options, put up with it or leave. Baternal says. My wife was perfectly fine then I think years of no sex, constant anger issues, toxic attitude made her sick, since her immune system crashed. People tend to forget that sex and positive emotions leads to healthier bodies overall. A huge part of immune system response is tied to emotional well-being. So is aging. Ponder wisely says. Sorry, but, frick that. WTF. No touch. Darzinkas says. You beat me too. I hope there's at least a good strip club in town that you get to frequent. OK brother 4841 says. Six years here. The exact same. Patriot 316 British English says. You are better man than I will ever be sorry and hope it gets better soon. Physical Breath 6933 says. Oh man. You beat me. Rock 12 says. I'm going through the exact same thing. Haven't had sex since the conception of last kid 5 years ago. Masturbation is boring. Going so crazy I'm playing with idea of doing other people. But I just can't go through with it. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.